Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Tom Truxton. <clears throat> Thanks, for Pastor David, for inviting us out. I appreciate it. It's all, always cool to have an opportunity to, to share something with everybody. Um, the first day of the new year, uh, welcome everybody out on the live stream. It's going to be an awesome new year. I pray it's going to be the best year ever for everyone here in this room on the live stream watching. I uh, haven't been on the stage in a long time. I remember during its construction, I was standing or about right here underneath this carpet. It says something that I wrote, we're standing on the promises of God. Um, and many of us probably were here during the construction of this facility, and we remember a verse that we wrote here on the plywood before it was carpeted. It was a pretty interesting time uh, watching these walls go up and the carpet going down and this building being built and this church coming into fruition. It was an awesome time. Um, one of the spiritual passions that I wanted to speak about tonight was um, worship. When you think of worship, you probably immediately, the first thing that comes to mind is what we just got done experiencing here just a few minutes ago, the awesome worship of music, how we can um, reach out to the Lord through our praise and offering of how we feel when the worship music is being played and just kind of giving back to Him uh, the things that we feel deep down in our heart. Sometimes it's not immediate when we feel those things, but through the worship, I know it, your heart becomes soft and your, your mind starts to get in the, the attitude of prayer sometimes. And just it's a, it's a worship, worshipful experience to, to know and to sense that the Holy Spirit is in this room uh, when we start feeling that feeling. And it's, it's not just a feeling, it's, it's a choice that you have to make to kind of get into that attitude sometimes because when we walk in here sometimes, we're not always feeling worshipful. But how, can, how else can we worship the Lord? Not just with our, our musical uh, time, but with our uh, finances is another way that we can worship the Lord. And another way is with our actual time. I just mentioned that. Uh, how we spend our time during the course of the day, during the course of the week, month, and year. How do you spend your time? That's a way of worshiping the Lord. It can be, at least. Um, so you may consider that as you go forward. I don't know if some people engage in doing... Uh, resolutions. Uh, I prefer to kind of set goals and try to uh, perform and to achieve goals throughout the course of the year. So I'd encourage you maybe to set some goals, inspirations, um, or um, what was the word I just said? <laughs> goals are better. Um, the verse I wanted to mention also is First Chronicles 29. For those of you that um, took Crown Financial Ministries class, there was a, there was a verse there. And we see King David here really showing his heart and asking the people, the community there in Jerusalem to pour their heart out towards the Lord as well. It's First Chronicles 29, 11, and 12. He says, Everything in the heavens and earth is yours, O Lord, and this is your kingdom. We adore you as being in control of everything. Riches and honor come from you alone, and you are the ruler of all mankind. Your hand controls power and might, and it is at your discretion that men are made great and given strength. This is a verse that just stuck with me ever since I learned it that first day in 2004, but it's King David just really pouring his heart out. He was asking people, yes, to give financially, and that was one form of worship. Our time and how we serve the Lord is another form of worship. Um, and then obviously the musical form of worship. So all three of these are awesome forms of worship that we all should try and engage in more and more in 2015. Thank you. <clears throat> 